I am here to help you guys flip houses, right? That's what I do. People send me houses. I analyze them, make sure the deal's going to be good. Make sure you don't do the bad ones, right? Do the good ones, avoid the bad ones. One of my clients sent me this house. On the surface, it looks like it could be a great flip, but are there any hidden issues, problems that I guarantee nobody has thought of, right? This one, it's got a sneaky little issue, and I'm willing to bet almost no one watching the show has ever dealt with this specific scenario. Let's find out what it is and find out if we could overcome that problem and turn this into a pile of money! This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here, working with you guys, working with you guys to help you make that coin, right? You might be sitting at home. Probably no pants on, looking at your iPhone. You probably got Cheeto dust in your beard, and you're like, I, I can make some money, man. What's up? Hey, man, welcome to the show. What's up? Glad you decided to join us. Wipe that Cheeto dust off your face. Hit the subscribe button. Maybe put some pants on later. Or don't. I don't care. You, that's, that's, that's what we do here, man. You're in the comfort of your own home learning about flipping homes from me. I'm probably not even wearing pants right now either. As a matter of fact, I'm not. That's why the desk is here. I'm just kidding. I'm wearing pants. We're talking about pants way too much, folks. It's not what this show's about. What today's show's about is flipping houses. Flipping this house. In this house, my client, my client Mark, man from Minneapolis. He saw this house, and he's interested in flipping this thing, right? It's a nice house in Perry, Ohio. That's the thing, by the way, folks. It don't matter where you live. Uh, for those of you that are not good at geography, Perry, Ohio, not the same in the same general vicinity as Minneapolis, Minnesota. Two very different locations, right? What we do here on this show, I'm someone who sold over $200 million worth of real estate. I can help you analyze deals, right? These deals do not have to be where you live. But the information I give you, it's going to work. It's going to help you invest wherever you want. If you want to invest in Minneapolis, where my client Mark works, great. Do so. I could teach you a thing or two. If you want to do what my client Mark is doing and go one step further and actually partner with my team to invest, you could do that as well. That's why he's checking out Perry, Ohio, because it's in the Cleveland area, which is where we are. We help people buy, sell, wholesale, flip, Airbnb, the whole thing out here in Cleveland. As I said, I sold $200 million worth of this stuff, right? So Mark saw this looking on like Zillow or something like that, checked out the Zestimate. Looked like it'd be a good property to flip. See all that land back there? Nice little country area. Seemed like a house that you could just come in, do a nice little cosmetic rental, right? It's got good bones, but it's, you know, it's a little dated, right? These are the kind of properties you want to be targeting, guys. If you're a first-time flipper, uh, like my man Mark here, you don't want to be trying to do full-on gut jobs, right? You got to walk before you could run. So, Mark, you're doing what you need to be doing, man. You're out there. You're checking Zillow, checking Zestimates, uh, trying to figure out if there's a nice spread, right? You find a property that looks dated, that appears to be listed for a decent amount less uh, than a lot of the other properties. Look at this one. I didn't even get this far in the pictures. This one's got a wide cellar. That's pretty cool. We would definitely want to leave that. This has got some promise. It's got some potential, okay? By the way, the address, the actual address, 3537 North Ridge, Perry, 44081, 158 grand. Now, been on the market 134 days. Price per square foot's only forty eight thirty eight. By the way, I'm sure a lot of you out there just got your mind exploded. That's that's why people partner with me and, and do stuff in my market, right? Like what I'm about to teach you about this property can apply to wherever the hell you live, but like Mark chose to come here because you can't buy stuff for forty one dollars a square foot that has a wine cellar in Minneapolis, right? But you could do so in Northeast Ohio. It's one of the cheapest markets in the USA, right? And I happen to know uh quite a bit about the market. Again. Don't want to keep uh, bragging here, but $200 million in sales, right? When the prices are only like $41 a square foot, uh, y'all could do the math. It takes a long time. takes a lot of sales to get to $200 million, You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. When you work with me here or when you're uh, learning from me to do stuff in your own home markets, what I don't want you to do is 
try to do the deal no matter what. I don't want you to fall in love with the deal. I don't want you to try to fit a round peg in a square hole, folks. It, it kind of reminds me of this analogy, right? If I'm in the mountains, right, me and a buddy, we're in the mountains. We're out there doing man stuff. I don't know. We're hunting. Hunting elk. We're hunting elk. That's the manliest thing I could ever think of. You know who doesn't hunt elk? The reporters at Scene Magazine. Those skinny jeans wearing cunty bitches. Nothing to do with this show. You'll have to check the show notes to see what I'm talking about. They love writing slander pieces on me. But anyway, those cats, they're about as far away from hunting elk in the mountains as anybody, right? So me and my buddy, we're in the mountains. We're hunting elk, okay? Why we're out there doing man stuff hunting elk, let's say a grizzly bear runs after us, starts trying to attack us. Now, for me to survive, I do not need to outrun the grizzly bear, folks. I don't have to be faster than the grizzly bear. All I got to do is be faster than my buddy. You understand what I'm saying? Another analogy. Let's go back to house. Let's, let's bring it back to housing. That's what we do here, right? If I'm trying to set up a, a system, a security system, I don't need my house to be break-in proof. It doesn't have to be 100% safe, right? No. It just has to be better than my neighbor's house, right? The criminal is going to go to the easier one. The grizzly's going to eat my fucking friend, okay? So with all that said, don't fall in love with a deal. Don't try to chase a deal that is going to be too difficult when there are easier deals to do. For you specifically, Mark, this one is a dud. I get it. Everything makes sense thus far. Wine cellar, good area, Zestimate. Zillow pricing shows like we got a potential for a big spread here. It's a pretty nice house. The renovation would be pretty easy. Shouldn't be too hard, but BAM! That right there, bro. That's why this thing ain't selling. That's why it all looks good. It's a whole mess, all right? Oh, dot. Oh, dot just killed your deal, Mark. Oh, dot. The Ohio Department of Transportation, right? They just took a steaming turd on your deal. This flip ain't going to work, and I'll tell you why. ODOT wants the land. This attachment is part of a 40-page attachment that the new buyer would have to sign would they try to buy this particular property, more or less granting, uh, letting you know and giving the rights away uh, for ODOT to come in, and they're taking part of your land uh, for a highway. All right, folks, if you've never flipped houses before or if you've never been in real estate before, I'm going to tell you this. Highways really close to houses, not good, right? When you're flipping houses, you want to make your house as appealing to the most amount of people as possible, right? You don't want to do a one-off. You don't want to have a very unique thing that only a small subset of buyers are going to want, right? You want to get in, get out, okay? So you want to find, like, average houses that appeal to the masses and get that sucker sold, okay? And a lot of people don't like highways, right? And I can't think of a way to get any closer to a highway than ODOT telling you, hey, bro, we're going to take some of your yard because we're putting a fucking highway through it. That's going to be a problem down the road, okay? So your would-be buyers, A, are going to have to deal with a, a new highway coming in, construction, the whole thing's a mess, right? So uh, it just it doesn't make any sense to pursue this, bro. It's not like... Uh, it's the last house in the history of the world that you could potentially flip. You don't, you don't fall in love with a deal. You don't chase a super hard, super problematic, high-risk deal, right? You can and should focus on easier and less risky deals. So, brother, that's what I do. I make sure you avoid the bad ones. This one, I want to see you avoid it. I don't want to see you fall into this trap of trying to make this thing work when it's just going to be a whole lot of problems. We will continue to search for you and find you a better deal. Folks, if you are interested in flipping houses, I got two things for you, just so you know. Two things. If you're interested in doing flips outside of my market, the Cleveland area, you want to uh, flip houses on your own, go ahead. Continue to learn here on Holton Wise TV. In addition to that, I want you to check out PropStream, all right? In the notes below, I got a link to a free trial. Essentially, what that is is MLS-like data for the whole USA, right? This thing right here, 
I got this information, this super top secret ODOT information from my MLS, okay? I'm able to uncover info you need to make sure uh, you're doing good deals and avoiding bad deals, right? So I was able to keep my man Mark out of a huge problem dealing with ODOT, right? Because I got access to the data. So if you're trying to invest outside of my market, you know, we can't partner and do the deal together. You can just learn from me. So you'll want to get yourself as much data as you can. So I got a free trial to PropStream for you all below. And then if you decide to use it after that free trial, since you're a Holton Wise TV viewer, you get a discount every month. And then if you are like, you know what? That's sweet, but I, I like this cat and I want to buy houses for 40 bucks a square foot. I'm going to partner with them in the show notes below. Just go ahead and book a free call on my team. Get yourself some one-on-one -on -one videos like my man Mark did. Get you into the good deals. Keep you out of the bad ones. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.